I've said many times that we all get dressed for Bill. Okay. This is Bill Cunningham on the street this week. There's no reason to be doom and gloom and think that fashion is finished. The best fashion show is definitely on the street. Always has been and always will be. We're all blank canvases when we get up in the morning and we paint ourselves. Street style emerged at the same point that Bill got a camera. He's been documenting me since I was a kid and it's one snap, two snaps, or he ignores you, which is death. Bill's fingerprints are all over everything he does because he's never, ever, ever sold out one inch of anything. Put her here and put her over here. Put it on, stop your antics. Put it up there. <laughs> <laughs> Damn you, kids. I have the feeling that he doesn't sit down and talk to people too much. I have no idea about his private life. I have no idea if he's lonely. I once went to his studio. Have you been there? This is my clothes closet. Does he still sleep on the cabinets? Who the hell wants a kitchen and a bathroom? You see, if you don't take money, they can't tell you what to do. That's the key to the whole thing. <laughs> New York society becomes harder and harder to define. Bill is a true egalitarian. However, that doesn't mean he isn't aware of cultural vision and hierarchies. He just treats it all the same. I'm not interested in celebrities with their free dresses. I'm interested in clothes. I would come into a place and he would say, oh, thank God you're here. Everybody here looks so boring. If we all went out looking like a slob like me, it'd be a pretty dreary world. The wider world that perceives fashion as a frivolity that should be done away with, the point is that fashion is the armor to survive the reality of everyday life. I don't think you could do away with it. It would be like doing away with civilization. That's what I think. <laughs> I be your mirror. I be your mirror. I be your